If the budget is approved, Portsmouth homeowners will see their real estate tax rate rise from $1.28 per $100 of valuation to $1.35, a rate that would be the highest among the five Tidewater cities. Restaurant food taxes, now 3% of a bill, would jump to 4%. Lodging taxes would also go from 3 to 4%, and machinery and tool tax rates, now at $1.50, would increase to $2. The tax on cigarettes would go from 10 to 15 cents a pack. Members of the city's finance commission spent more than three hours discussing city manager Robert House's budget, one which he says includes cutbacks of 27 city jobs that, on top of the elimination of 130 federally funded positions, which Portsmouth in the past heavily depended on. One of the more severe problems has been losing CETA. The city has, in many of its uh, uh, fields of service, uh, been providing a higher level of service and without CETA the city will have to adjust to a much lower level of service. The proposed increase in taxes may not sit well with Portsmouth City taxpayers but as city manager Robert House put it this city has got to grow and in order to do that it's got to get more revenue. We can't borrow from Peter and pay to Paul. Penny Williams, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Portsmouth.